What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. I saw this book on TikTok. Somebody made like an aesthetic video for it and it was very witchy. It was very fall. They were playing the song False God from Taylor Swift and I'm like this is a book that I would like to read. And the X-Hex takes place in Georgia. It's kind of on a college campus. So we've already got those like nice dark academia fall vibes and this girl named Vivi gets brutally done. Uh, by this boy named Reese. He turns out was actually engaged to somebody else and naturally she's pretty mad. She gets really drunk and her and her cousin are joking around and they curse him and they think it was just a joke, but it turns out, no, he's he's actually cursed. And when he comes back nine years later and all of a sudden the whole town is being affected, Vivi and Reese has to kind of work together in order to try to find a way to break this curse. When it comes to the actual like plot of the story, that's pretty meaty. Like it seems like there's a lot going on here, but not a lot of time is really devoted to it. I do wish that like th this was a romance novel and like I understand that, but with how much of a plot like this kind of had, I do wish more time could have been devoted to it. I feel like it gets wrapped up pretty quickly. I feel like the stakes are high, but they don't really feel real because we don't spend a lot of time to it. Like obviously this book was focused on Vivi and Reese reconnecting. They have a lot of sexual tension. Like this book is pretty spicy. So I think that maybe the plot should have been taken down a few notches because it gets like really involved like within the town and like bloodlines and ley lines and like all kinds of stuff. And I, I think that without that, it would have been a little bit better. Because as it was, I loved the romance. I think Vivi and Reese were great. I even liked when the book kind of got a little bit fluffy with their relationship later on because I feel like they just really worked together. I really liked that we got both of their perspectives. Like being in Reese's head just was really awesome and I loved seeing like his thoughts and his feelings and how he felt about the breakup and everything with that. And like the whole vibe was just great. Like it, we have like a coven, we have these witches, we have this college that actually has like a secret witch side to it and our main character Vivi is a professor at the college like it just the vibes were there and like for those reasons I really love this book and it's like one of my favorites but I am only giving it a B plus and that's just because like reading it I'm like yes this is good I'm loving it but then you reminded of like oh yeah and this plot is happening and that's kind of how the book is it's like oh yeah I guess we need to like go back in and there's this ghost and like oh right we were doing something else so I feel like it just feels a little bit at war with itself but it's still a hundred percent worth the read because it is really really fun like if you liked the love hypothesis this feels like a Raylo fan fiction like it really does I don't know if it is um, but Erin Sterling like I'm looking I would love to read more books by you especially if they have all this type of vibe because I was just really really feeling it so when it comes to the x-hex I would just say like even though going into it it looks like it's gonna be like a beefier plot alongside that romance it's not. You're just in it for the vibes and honestly like that is totally fine. So solid B plus. Definitely want to read more from this author. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.